So we still have a lot going on and Irma is still cranking. Uh, category one storm, 75 miles per hour. I just want you to put that in perspective. You know, when we see a pretty strong thunderstorm roll on through, you get a gust of like 50, 60 miles per hour. You're like, oh wow, we had a branch that was knocked down. Well now think about 75 miles per hour sustained for hours with gusts to 90 miles per hour. That's still going on in Florida. So they're still having power outages and Irma's now going to start to cruise her way to the north and west, weakening as she does so, but still going to be leaving some damage and plenty of rain in her wake. So here's the center of circulation and you watch the radar returns. Look how quickly they're going. So that's an idea of how fast the you know, air is actually moving. And not only that, we still have storm surge on the backside of it as Irma pulls that water in and kind of backs it into the Florida Peninsula. So something that, of course, still watching and also watching Hurricane Jose. Look at this. Still a Category 2 storm. And look how it kind of does this little loop and then starts heading closer to the United States. But what about the latest computer models? I'm going to put that in motion. There's the loop. And then we start to just kind of go all over the place. So we'll have to watch that as we go into this upcoming week. But here at home, uh, things are completely quiet out there. And weak little frontal boundary going to roll its way on through as we head through tonight. Probably not going to sneak any raindrops out of it. Skycast going through the day. Boy, is it going to be a nice day, but it is going to be a cool start. I'll get to that in a second. Now, yesterday, 71 in Green Bay, add a couple degrees onto that, and look how it gets warmer and warmer out to the west. No, it's not going to get to 90 here, but we are going to warm things up slowly as we head throughout the next several days. But right now it is cool, 43 Green Bay, 48 Appleton, Fond du Lac, 45 degrees. So light jacket to start, but by the end of the day, T-shirt should be just fine for you if you're allowed to wear that at work. Uh, dew points right now really comfortable, but they're actually going to be sneaking up as we head through the next couple of days. Summer isn't done yet. So this weak little front going to be rolling on through as we head through the night tonight. But again, probably nothing falling out of it. Here's a look at Skycast going through the day. Pretty quiet. And here comes that front as we head through the night. Nothing really going on with it. Just a couple of clouds. That would be about it. So today, mostly sunny skies. 73 degrees. If you're right along the lake, maybe just a little bit cooler there. That is going to be the story for the next couple of days. Becoming partly cloudy. That's that weak little front rolling on through. 54 degrees for a low. And then for tomorrow, 77. But it is going to be a little bit cooler by the lake. Either, either way, you know what? We'll take it. Wednesday, 77. Thursday, 78. How about this for a stretch of weather? And not only that, Brooke. I think you're going to feel a little bit of humidity in there as well. Oh boy. Yeah, so here we are, like middle September, and it's starting to feel like the summer we didn't have. I was starting to acclimate to the fall temperatures, though. Now Too we bad. Got, I'm going to rip out the rug from under you. Summer back this week. It's coming All back. Right, thanks, Fish.